What's going on YouTube? Run Good Life coming back at you with a brand new video and we are definitely trying something new here today. So got my new camera set up um, somewhat how I like it. Um, I still have a lot of adjustments to do with it. Um, probably going to be messing with some lighting still. I have to get a smaller mat obviously because my logo is no longer in the center. Um, and I'm probably going to keep this camera for about three weeks but there is a newer version coming out that I do plan on upgrading to. So all that aside, I did want to do a practice run, and I decided that the best way to do that was with uh, some 2020 Don Russ that I found at my local Target. So, never done uh, Panini Baseball on the channel before, so I believe this is going to be a first for the channel. I'm not too big on Panini Baseball simply because of the lack of logos. Um, you know, you see no team logos on the helmet or on the on the jersey. They cannot do that. They can just print though. They can do the players and things like that and do autos and all that. They uh, just don't have the license for the MLB uh, logos and things of that nature. So I'm going to go ahead and get into these. I am working with this camera that does have some limitations, one of which being a 15 minute uh, file limit. So that's going to be one of the reasons for me upgrading. But got uh, two of these fat packs it's gonna have one vector and three hollow reds per pack these are five bucks these hangers are ten bucks we're gonna get six hollow orange and two diamond parallels so i've seen some of these i do like some of the designs i'm not gonna lie i think panini does a good job with designs and like uh doing a good job celebrating designs of years past um this looking like the old don russ as you can see some of the things I do think is kind of corny. They do things like um, nicknames and things like that. Um, I also think their auto checklists are a bit weak. So let's go ahead and see if we can get these to focus. So we have Shohei Otani, Tyler Glass now, Justin Turner, Strasburg, Hicks, Fernando Tatis Jr. And you can see, like, I mean, the problem with these cards is just, like, you know, it looks cool, but there's no team logo or anything like that. So... David Dahl, we have a J.D. Martinez, a Kyle Schwarber, Starling Marte, Juan Soto, Trevor Story, Jorge Soler. I do like the Diamond Kings, even without the logo. I do have some of the Mitch Hanniger, so it's a very good-looking card. We have a, I believe, what is this, like 87 or something like that? Got a little timer going off for you. An Azale rookie card. Totally butchered that name. We have Devers, Dustin May, Rated Rookie. So I do like the Rated Rookies. Another Diamond Kings of Brian Anderson. Chris Bryant, Brian Abreu. We have Ronald Acuna Jr. Diamond Kings. Good looking card right there. Polar Bear. <laughs> so that's going to be a nickname. Um, forgot they don't, do the, they don't do the numbers or anything like that. Uh, if this was the Polar Bear from Series 1 Tops, this would be a several hundred dollar card, I believe. But it's just going to be... A nickname variation. We get into our Reds. We have a Buster Posey. Big fan of Buster. Travis Demerit rookie card. And Domingo Leyva rookie card. Don't know too much about Domingo Leyva. I do like these cards. Look really good. I think what are these? These are the Vectors, I believe. You get one per. And this one is going to be of Ronald Acuna Jr. I don't believe these are numbered. So not numbered. Um, but these look awesome. These are kind of like your black velocity. Uh, not velocity. What do they call these? Like pyramids maybe or something like that. Looks super sharp. Wade Boggs, Gary Carter, Paul Molitor, Travis Demerit again, and Domingo Leba. So not too bad. You know, for five bucks, I got a cool Ronald Acuna Jr. So not too bad. Let's go ahead and get into the next fat pack. We have Corey Seager, Max Kepler, Charlie Morton, Trevor Bauer, Nelson Cruz, Jacob deGrom, another Shohei Otani, Mitch Garver, Pete Alonzo. See, there's the regular Pete without the without the nickname. Kirby Yates, Tommy Edmond, Ramon Laureano. Almost dropped them all. Zach Gallen, rated rookie. Fernando Tatis. Rated Rookie, good looking card right there. I do like, or that wasn't Rated Rookie, sorry, that was Diamond Kings. Good, I love that Diamond Kings. Here's another nickname on the Tati. So much Tatis right now. El Nino, you can see that. El Nino nickname. Aristides Aquino, Rated Rookie. Again, the rookies from these probably aren't going to be worth even like uh, half of what the tops go for. Just on the premise that they aren't licensed. Um, 
you know, they don't have the team logos. So Yu Cheng, Paquito, so another nickname, and that's going to be Francisco Lindor. Justin Dunn, Max Scherzer, this is going to be the Independence Day, I believe. That's an interesting, not numbered. Uh, I didn't see a number on front either. Nope, not numbered, but it has that old, like, like junk wax kind of back onto it. So our reds are going to be Joey Votto, Corey Kluber of the Texas Rangers, not of the Cleveland Indians. Jack Flaherty, and it's pretty cool. Now playing Bo Bichette. That's a cool looking insert. It sucks that that card is not, doesn't have a, a Blue Jays logo. That's a good looking card though. Good looking insert. Michael King, Burt Blylevin, Jim Rice. Uh, Jonathan Daza, don't know anything about him, and George Brett is going to round up that pack. Let's go ahead, I'm going to do just a quick little sort, get out some of these nicer cards really quick so we can do them later in the recap. Um, just give me one quick sec. We'll get that Aquino, I like that one. And we'll go ahead and get that Acuna as well. Um, probably the Polar Bear, that's a cool nickname. So we'll hit those in the recap. Let's go ahead and get into these. So these are going to be the $10 hanger boxes. Uh, six hollows and two diamonds per box. Uh, there's the odds right there, assuming that it's not too blurry for y'all. You want to check that out. So I'm going to go ahead and just get right into it. I took the wrapping off before the video. I didn't want you guys to watch me fumble around with the wrapping. We'll just take all of these out really quick. I'm never a fan of just fumbling around with wrapping on video. It's always awkward. Every time I open packs, you guys like cringe and comment and rightfully so sometimes. So I do like this configuration. I said I said I like this a lot in the tops um, pins. Just you just no packs, just one little cellophane and you get a fat stack of cards. So let's go ahead and put all the nicer ones. I do see some corner dings, so we'll put those on the bottom. So Garver, Alonzo, Yates, Edmund, Loriano, Mondesi, Paddock. Daryl Strawberry, Willie Castro, Lewis Thorpe. So I like that we're seeing some rookies that are different from 2020 Series 1 tops. That is pretty cool. So Michael King, Burt Blylevin again, Jim Rice again, Jonathan Daza again. So collation issues right there. Jacob deGrom, Shohei Otani again, third third one of that. Tyler Glass now, Justin Turner, Strasburg, Hicks, Fernando Tatis Jr., Frankie Lindor, Corey Seager, Albies, Kevon Biggio, Lorenzo Kane, uh, Jonathan VR, Brian Reynolds, Diamond Kings of Mike Trout. That's a good looking card right there. Just needs that logo. That's all it needs right there. Just give me that logo. That's a good looking card. Mookie Betts, Jesus Lazardo. That's a good rookie. Miggy Cabrera, uh, Phil Hughes' favorite player ever of all time. Max Scherzer. Nelson Cruz. Cal Ripken. The Boston Red Sox. Cal Ripken of the Boston Red Sox. What am I thinking right now? Cal Ripken of the Baltimore Orioles. Holy cow. I literally just watched Cal Ripken highlights on YouTube like three nights ago. Because there's no baseball. The Pike. Who is the Pike? Is that Keitel? Yep. Keitel Marte. Hoping there might be a trade for the Mariners, uh, get him back. But rated rookie is going to be Dylan Cease. Aaron Judge, not so good at Diamond King compared to that Trout. This Judge doesn't really, he looks super concerned there. He's concerned that he's not going to get his 2017 MVP that Jose Altuve stole from him. Cody Love, Cody Bellinger uh, nickname. We have Adrian Morjan, Brian Abreu, and now we get into our parallels. I did see one of them had a corner ding, unfortunately. So we have Scherzer, Kluber, Travis Demerit, Witt Merrifield, Albert Azale, and Raphael Devers. And our diamonds are going to be Elite Series of Matt Chapman and Dominators of Ketel Marte again. So good looking cards. I like how they shine in the light. I'm a sucker for like those kind of patterns. So not too bad. Let's go ahead and get into the second little box. And again, we will go ahead and put our nicer 
nicer uh, inserts or parallels on the bottom. So Yandy Diaz, Mitch Garver, Pete Alonzo, Kirby Yates, Tommy Edmond, Ramon Laureano, Alberto Mondesi, Daryl Strawberry, Willie Castro, Louis Thorpe, King, Blylevin, Rice, and Jonathan Diaz. We've seen that run again. Nelly, Jacob deGrom, Sho Shohei, 4 for 4 on Shohei right now. Tyler Glass now, Justin Turner, Strasburg, Hicks, Betts, Ozuna, Torres, Frankie Lindor, Corey Seager, Ozzy Albies. Is this an autograph? Nope. But it is going to be a Paul Goldschmidt. This is going to be a career stat line. So 807 careers batted in, or 807 runs batted in in the career. It's going to be number 20 of 500. So it is kind of cool when you hit a numbered card. But I thought we might have hit a Paul Goldschmidt autograph right now. There, that would have been that would have been filthy from a $10 hanger. But Brutus Gratterall, uh, Cheater. Trey Turner, Jordan Alvarez, so that's going to be our first Jordan of the break. Of course, he is on the front of the packaging, so same picture. That's kind of cool for some continuity, continuity purposes. Marco Gonzalez, excited to see what he's going to bring to the table for the Mariners when they get started. Zach Collins, Bam Bam, Bryce Harper. That's a cool little nickname right there. Gavin Lux, rated rookie. Another Mike Trout. So if we're going to hit duplicates, at least we're hitting good ones. Mookie Betts, Jesus Lazardo, Miggy Cabrera, Max Scherzer. So let's go ahead and get into these again. Our oranges are going to be Brian Reynolds, Clayton Kershaw, Bobby Bradley, who I'm big on. But again, I don't know how much valuable this is going to be compared to even like a base uh, from Top Series 1. Trevor Story, super undervalued in the hobby. Eloy Jimenez and Anthony K is going to be our orange rated rookie. Get into these two diamonds. Ah, uh, we have a cheater and we have Brendan McKay. So one good diamond at least. And these, uh, again, I love the way those look. So let's go ahead and get into this final one. I am trying to keep the time limit on this video uh, till within the camera. It, it gives us 15 minutes and I'm hoping to not have to do a cut. So we shall see if we can wrap it up in under 15 minutes. It's a little janky. Uh, I am. I don't have all of my components. I'm still gonna have a, like a monitor in front of me, so I can be monitoring, making sure things look good uh, in terms of focus. Right now, I, I don't have a good visual on the focus. I am using their app, but it is very laggy, showing me a live feed of what I am showing the camera. Syndergaard, Devers, Lowe, Blake Snell, Chris Bryant, Mike Yastrzemski. We have Jake Rogers, Wade Boggs, Gary Carter, Paul Molitor, Travis Demerit, Domingo Leba, and Roger Clemens. We have Luis Severino, Nomar Mazzara, Josh Donaldson. The Judge, Yachty, Goldschmidt, Chapman, Cueto, Ramirez, Brantley, Sanchez, Renfro, Davis, Moncada. We have a rated rookie of AJ Puck. Do you like that? Diamond Kings of Javi Baez. The Decrominator. I didn't know that was his nickname. That's pretty cool. We have a rated rookie of Brendan McKay. Ketel Marte. Um, see how they get away. They get around using a jersey because he has a hoodie on in that card. I mean, you can take it for what you will. I. It's whatever. It's not bad. It's not good. Uh, I, would, I would really like to see Bobby Bradley be squared. There's a base trout for you right there. Good looking trout. Nico Horner, rated rookie. Austin Meadows, Josh Bell, Brock Burke, Buster Posey. That's a good looking Buster Posey card right there. That's that's a card where I almost don't care uh, that it doesn't have a logo because it's just a good looking card. Gigante, <laughs> Gigante Cheater. We have a Stars parallel of Chris Bryant. Again, has that weird, not weird, but has that like retro 80s back. Frankie Lindor, Corey Seager, Jake Rogers. We're missing Shohei Otani, Brandon Lowe, and Ishan Diaz. We have, oh, and a, oh, that's kind of cool. They do the, the Orange Diamond Kings, um, so that's Marcus Simeon. I was going to say, I thought we had something special there. So, Wander Franco, wow. So that's a rated prospect of Wander Franco Diamond. I would imagine that's probably one of the best uh, diamonds that you can hit, and... Behind it, we have a Garrett Mitchell American Pride USA, but 
So again, see, I hit that 15 minute mark and it cut out. So uh, I hope you guys saw that out of the pack. But second to last card in the final pack was a Wander Franco Rated Prospects Diamond. So you get two of these per hanger box. Uh, RP1, so it's not part of the set. Um, I would imagine this has probably got to be one of the top, if not the top, diamond to hit. So I think we got lucky here. I don't know the value on this card. It's not numbered. But I overall... Overall, that was a pretty solid, solid break. So let's go ahead and just show you guys. That was the other card, Garrett Mitchell. Hit plenty of oranges. These probably not going to be too valuable. Maybe the rated rookies are worth a few, you know, maybe maybe if you hit a rated rookie and an orange, it might be worth a couple of bucks. But a Bobby Bradley, probably about a dollar, realistically. So not a whole lot of value. It's one of the reasons why I didn't want to bust a hobby box of this. I just, I couldn't justify the $80 price tag. There's... So hard to get value. The auto checklists just typically aren't that good. Um, but just kind of showing you guys some of the hits. Some of the nicer cards for, for $30 this was actually a pretty fun break. Um, but, you know, the lack of team logos really, especially on a card like that, it just kind of kills me on a judge like that. So, Jesus Lizardo, Trout, Polar Bear, not the, not the Polar Bear we want. Uh, Acuna, that was another, so two really good diamond cards. Um, and the Boba Shet, so three. I would say our diamonds, we kind of knocked it out of the park on the diamonds and uh, the exclusives that you only get one or two of. Um, so for me, by far, those are going to be your three best cards of the break. The Wander Franco is awesome. Let's see how I can show you guys that. Yep, the Wander Franco is pretty badass. Uh, Boba Shet and Ronald Acuna Jr. So that's going to do it for the break. Uh, let me know what you guys think of Don Russ and just the whole non-licensed baseball cards in general. Love to hear your thoughts and opinions on that. Um, if you like my comment, my content, please be sure to give me a like, hit that subscribe button because we do a lot of good content on this channel. So that's going to do it. Stay, stay tuned and stay safe out there and we will catch you next time.